What's going on everybody and welcome back for a new video. This right here is the one hover circle auto and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading much as you know I've been very busy changing between frontier to vanity so it's been a little little, little uh, stressful for me but now it's time to go back to our usual ways and hopefully upload daily again. Now this right here is the 100 stacker fully auto and let's just go ahead and put it on auto. No, but there's a lot of people on one shot right now so I'm not really sure if this is going to work. But we'll see if it if it is. Now let me go ahead and put TT toggle on here so we don't get spammed. And it should work just fine. And you see the scatter here is around. Well, this one here was kind of not too shabby. But it's, it's go around, what is this, like 50, 50 blocks? Around 50 blocks, maybe 45, something like that. And as always, it can go throughout the entire buffer. I already tested that. I should probably have removed the sand, but... Um, it's, it's kind of similar to this over here, it goes all the way over, and then maybe, I don't know, it goes to the end of the plot, so I have no clue how far it goes. But, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the cannon. This right here is the sand storage, so and say. And of course, you build that all the way up the sky limit. The sand compression is all the way down in bedrock. You can move it up if you want to. Uh, just change a few settings, and then you should be good to go. Uh, but if you have it down on bedrock, we should see that we'll be able to uh, cannon a full buffer in, in no time. Now, um, this is the amount of power we use, meaning we will be able to go to an entire one-shot plot with 35 chunks, 32 chunks, something like that. So it goes further than that, even than that, uh, with the with the these settings right here. Now, if there's any filters close to you, uh, meaning close to the cannon itself, then it is going to dip one block. It's because I added one tick right here. So if you wanna if you wanna change that, just put this in zero ticks and the uh, this, this stack will be like right in the right height. Uh, but right now, because it's one take on the hammer, then it's gonna dip one block, meaning that uh, the red sand is going to be in this block and then the sand is going to be here. So if you wanna change that, just reduce this by one, you're good to go. Now, right here we have the hammer and, and as I told you before, you can change it over here. And we're using a double pulse and I don't know, like I'm trying to save TNT as much as I can and, and so, so far it's going good. But I want to talk a little bit about this right here. This is the obsidian breaker, meaning that if there is obsidian in front of you, or maybe there is obsidian patch, obsidian patches, um, you are more than welcome to use this right here. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight TNT. So if it has more than eight health, or if the obsidian have less than eight health, you'll be able to one shot it, which is pretty cool. Now, if you want to enable this right here, you have to make sure that you disable your main scatter, which is right here, because they can't one at the same time, because this one here is going to be on a different timing, or a, a little bit of different timing than this, then this one down here is going to fuck up. It's going to be a waste of TNT, but just disable this one right here, or anywhere, actually, just to disconnect the, the system. Now, over here, we have the TNT realigner, and remember that whenever you water this one, you have to remember that you have to water it properly, Let's see if I can get in here if this effect stops. So, when you water the cannon, it should flow in there by itself. Sometimes I've seen people um, doing slaps because they're afraid of something going out. So, just make sure that this right there is fully water protected or it's, it's going to blow up. Other than that, I'm pretty sure this was the, the cannon itself. Now, let's go ahead and take a look down here at the automatic sand compression. As you know, we are using a one push effect, as always. Um, and I do that because most servers uh, actually have a cap on piston pushes and they have a cap on comparator pulses. I see, I see that on a lot of servers uh, lately, and that's why we're using this system right here. And one push in general is just a little, little bit faster and a little bit like less redstone aids to do if so and say um also we made it so it can't blow up meaning that oh i got a sand beautiful meaning that we have ladders right here we have ladders right here we have ladders everywhere where the tnt might or where the sand might fuck so if this piston here or this it's out of tnt or something in this one um it can't fall further down than this ladder right here and meaning that it won't blow up no matter what. So if this sangle patch here blows up, there's definitely something wrong with the server because it's impossible for this to blow up. Impossible. Now, moving over to 
uh, the speed of this cannon here. I do know a lot of you guys uh, want it as fast as possible, and it is possible right now. It is on these ticks right here. Of course, you can actually put even less than this if you really wanted to, um, but the chance of it of it fucking up might increase um, when servers are lacking or whatsoever. But you can you can decrease it uh, a lot more. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the walls. As you see, we can go through a lot of them, and we are right here. Perfect. So you can go to the end of the plot, as I said before, um, and that is 32 blocks, uh, 32 chunks, not 32 blocks, 32 chunks. Um, the max buffer is 20, and well, a base is most likely 5x5, five five, I think. Yeah, 5x5. Five five. So it goes through that very easy, so you don't need to change anything in this cannon whatsoever. It goes through everything, even though there's filters, trapdoor filters, you name it. It goes through everything besides regions. So just press the button and then just go to the wall and just wait for the fun to happen. Now, I do want to say that the scatter uses a lot of TNT, so you might want to add some hopper system TNT filling thing in here. Because this one here, as you see right now, it's, it is using a lot of TNT. Right now it is almost only two stacks left and I filled it up. So it is, it is using a huge amount of TNT, so that's why you might want to add hopper system or something to it. Um, but other than that, guys, I think that'll be just about it for this video here, guys. Oh, again, I'm very sorry that I've been lacking uploads. Hopefully, I'll be able to change that up now that it's going good on Vanity. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video here. And if you like this video here, as always, like the video. And comment down below if you have any questions. And especially if you have any issues with these cannons here, let me know. I would love to try to see if I can figure out any mistakes and re-upload the cannon. I don't mind that at all. But anyways, guys, remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.